So let's do the last Matsuo Basho. Someone would like to read this one. In the twilight rain, these brilliant hued hibiscus, a lovely sunset. Five seven five. It's so In nice. It's twilight so rain, these brilliant, brilliant. hued. Oh, brilliant! Can I do that? Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> hued. Hued. The brilliant hued hibiscus. Uh, see, that's one thing I hate about <laughs> English syllables because they're confusing. <laughs> like I mean, they are, they cut off at weird like, places. Yeah, and there are many ways to read them, which is awesome. But like the word "brilliant," I can read "brilliant" as like "brilliant," <laughs> which <laughs> frankly would be an okay way to count it out because "brilliant," "brilliant," "brilliant." It's like it's supposed to be. A sound that you can get out all at once in the same instant. So like brilliant. You know, like well, brill that's thing, yint. That's one thing, like I feel like that kind of puts it in an accent too. Because I wouldn't oh, yeah. say brilliant. I would say brilliant. Yeah, it's absolutely accent based. Cause like British poetry works differently than American poetry. Um, because they say things differently sometimes. Um even like our, like I would say hour, but sometimes you can say like hour, hour is like one yeah, syllable. Right. I can't even right. do it right. Hour. <laughs> <But, laughs> yeah, like hour. 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 <laughs> Confusing. <laughs> English phonetics is all over yeah. the place in my understanding, at least when you match it with what's on the screen or what's being written. <laughs> However, that being aside, let's say they made this, they magic out these brilliant huge men they did it hibiscus is a flower let's see which flower is hibiscus it's like a hawaiian flower is what i think of like this big yeah, state flower of hawaii yeah, wait there's something weird about this why did they translate hibiscus probably for the syllables this is not the best translation I get uh -huh. sus whenever things rhyme or have the right amount of syllables <laughs> when they were written in a different language. Like I found a translation of the Sappho poem that was in perfect um, quartets. And I was like, no, like she doesn't rhyme. She wrote in <laughs> <No>. ancient Greek. <laughs> so this is saying hibiscus is prevalent in Okinawa, which is like island. Oh, yeah. I life area. Mm -hmm. Or the American bases. Not sure if the American base is relevant to Motsu Basho, but probably not. Considering America didn't exist. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> you sure? I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, about a hundred years uh, before seventeen seventy six. Pretty sure. <laughs> hmm. It may not have been. Wait, wait, this like no, no. It's just the issue is like there are many translations of this. And they are all irrelevant. So in the twilight rain, those brilliant hued hibiscus, a lovely sunset. One translation. Another translation. The sky is so gray. The sun is behind the clouds. I hate the winter. No, really? That's one translation this website is claiming. I'm trying to read it. I don't think that makes any sense. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't know why that translation is so different. The other ones aren't. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of similar things. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's this one, that one was like, must be tripping. I think um, the one that we have here anyway has some mm. nice contrasting images. Um, mm. Not a lot of action, obviously, but it's like twilight rain gives me one feeling, then like really bright tropical flowers gives me a different feeling. Um, and then like a lovely sunset okay. is like kind of maybe somewhere in the middle. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a very specific mood for something to be like raining, but you can also see the sun. Uh, mm. Like that very like, I, I like that kind of weather. It's very like, but it's rare, at least around here. So it's um like special when it's like raining, but also the sun is out and it's summer mm. with these big flowers blooming. Mm. I mean, 
since Japan is like an island nation, there's a lot of rain here, especially like a one month in the summer, there's nothing but rain. Mm. And obviously, summer, a lot of interesting flowers do grow, do bloom. Like, to me, this almost seems like a description of summer in Japan. Very heavy rain, rainy season in the beginning. Super blooming in the middle. And then the coming of autumn. And obviously, sun starting to go down earlier and earlier. And I guess the end of summer. That's kind of my... Like... My head goes to all directions with this just because so in in Japan there's super rainy season in June, super bloomy season in July, and then the big celebration of death in August, towards the end of August, which is called Obom. And celebration of death as in like you go to it's like a family Thanksgiving kind of thing, but you go to the Graves of the people, graves of your ancestors, graves of your grandparents, and then you know you pay your respects, you clean the clean the grave, everything. And this year was actually done over Zoom, which is really weird. But um, to me, I think my understanding is this is a description of Japanese summer and the three main events in it. Mm. I like that. Because there are a lot of festivals in between. It's kind of nice to be able to think of something as like. A single moment, but also as an extended thing, because you can't imagine it as a single moment, but you can also imagine it as this large expanse of time. Right. And I think that that's cool to be able to hold that duality in your head. Um, I think there may be something here oh, about like finding beauty in the darkness, um, or maybe like joy, maybe in the end of your life, like twilight, sunset. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's like, yes, it's slowing down. It's dark outside. It's almost time to go to sleep. But like, you can find these pretty flowers and you can find this lovely sunset and still have these like moments of beauty, even in the rain. Mm-hmm. I kind of like that. Just when you describe it like that, the first thing that comes to my mind is someone that had a really difficult childhood then overcame it and then bloomed into having a good life. But then since they went through this up and down cycle, they had a lovely sunset to end on. Mm. 